Hey guys, JC here with you. Um, wanted to get into another unboxing. Uh, finally have another device here in house that I'm really, really, really excited about. This is a device that came out a while ago, um, not too long ago, um, but I wasn't able to pick one up when it first came out, and this was a device that I was super, super excited about when it was first announced, uh, and now I actually have it in-house, and I'm ready to unbox it, and I'm ready to review it. Um, spoiler alert, or disclaimer, I guess, I've actually had the phone for about a day or so. Um, so I've been using it a little bit, so I cheated a little bit, um, but I'm finally getting around to doing the unboxing and the basic initial setup and review and everything. Um, so I wanted to show that to you guys. Uh, again, this is a device I'm very, very, very excited about. Uh, this is kind of an, a new device. We haven't seen a device like this in a while. Um, but it's, as you can see, it comes in a big box. Um, and so let's just go ahead and get to it. So we slide the top off right there. You know where to cut the tab. And... All right, this is the one, the only, the BlackBerry Priv. That's right, this is the Priv right here, the BlackBerry Priv. Uh, like I said, this phone was announced, um, I don't know, I don't even remember the date it was announced, but it was, uh, it's been out for a little bit, not too long, a couple of months, um, but it's a really, really big, big deal. Um, BlackBerry is going into the world of Android, which is interesting. For those of you that may or may not know, BlackBerry um, was kind of the smartphone or the mobile computing mobile PDA uh, device kind of pioneer. They were the ones who kind of pioneered the whole business and they, they dominated the business for a long time with their keyboards and their software. Um, now that they, they moved into more like enterprise software and business related stuff. Um, so, but it's really, really cool to see them um, come to Android. That's right, this is an Android device. So this is a BlackBerry running Android. Um, so that some of you may be too young to remember that that is a really big deal. But it's really, really cool. This is a really exciting device. Uh, real quick, give you really, really quick spec rundown. Running a Snapdragon 808 processor. Um, so it's a six core processor, but still really, really fast. 5.4 inch screen with a 540 pixels per inch. Uh, what that means is just, it's an awesome display. It's really, really good. It's an AMOLED display. Three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of flash storage, but you get an SD card. Right there, one of those two. One of those is an SD card slot, one of those is a SIM card slot. So if you're the kind of guy that um, has to have all your stuff, or gal, that has to have all your stuff on an SD card, this phone will be able to do that for you. I don't really do that too much, to be honest. Um, I don't use a whole lot of storage on my phone, but I don't have kids or anything either, so that's probably why I don't use a lot of storage. Eight megapixel camera around back. Um, only two megapixel camera up front, but again, as if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm not a huge selfie fan, so for those of you that are, this phone may disappoint a little bit. For those of you that really don't care and are over yourselves, then uh, two megapixels will be fine for you. It's got a 3410 milliamp hour battery, which is, is awesome. In my brief couple of days with the phone, battery life has been amazing. Uh, but we'll touch on that more in a second. Um, it does come with quick charging, so it does support quick charging. Um, so if you're into that. Um, and, but it's it's it, overall, it's a fairly big phone as in terms of, of size. Um, length and width and stuff, um, but it's it's really really cool feels great in the hand uh, The screen is curved if you can see right here the screen is curved on both sides Well, I guess they call the 2.5 D glass or whatever, but it's really really cool It feels really nice in the hand over here. You got your power button uh, Volume button top and bottom uh, and this is brings up the uh, volume settings So you can instantly go to do not disturb or all that kind of good other stuff and yes there it is running Android um, pro probably the coolest thing about this phone and the thing that makes a lot of people most excited is, wait for it. That's right, there is a hardware keyboard on this guy. It's really, really simple. All you do is you slide up like that, and bam, there's your keyboard. It's so glorious. Let me do it one more time. Ready? Ready? Slow-mo. It's so pretty, so gorgeous. Down at the bottom, you've got your speaker, uh, which is actually pretty loud, to be honest with you. So it's a great speaker. I really, really like it. But anyway, so that's the phone. We'll get to that more in a second. And here you got your paperwork that nobody really cares about or reads. Uh, there's a SIM, SIM tool in there. There it is, SIM tool, in case you wanted to know. Underneath here, um, you got more legal mumbo jumbo that nobody really cares to read about. Uh, in the box, you have your charger, which is super cool. Thanks, BlackBerry. You got your cable. And this is really, really cool. Not a lot of manufacturers do this anymore. Um, Apple still does it regularly, but there's not many others that will include a pair of headphones in the box. That is really, really cool to see from an Android OEM to see um, headphones in the box. So I'll get to those in a little bit. Um, we'll test those out, see how those work. But that's the basic unboxing. Um, real quick, let me go over the phone. 
So again, as you can see, it is running uh, Android. Um, as you can, it's got the double tap to wait feature, which is pretty cool. Like, and again, I've already been using this phone for a few days, so I've already set it up a little bit. But initially, overall, it is super, super amazing. Um, I love this phone. You can see you got apps in there. It's running Marshmallow. Um, unfortunately, it's running, uh, excuse me, it's not running Marshmallow. It's running Lollipop. Uh, it's currently on five, Android 5.1.1, which is a little disappointing to see in 2016, especially mid-2016 from a manufacturer. They are actively working on the Marshmallow update, though. They already are uh, issuing beta tests for that and things like that. So Marshmallow is definitely coming to this device. Uh, it just It's a matter of when at this point. Um, but it's, it's Android, and it's pretty stock Android for those that know and love Android. Uh, you're going to really love this phone. Uh, but another thing BlackBerry is actually famous for is uh, security, especially software security. So they've bundled in a lot of their security apps um, and a lot of that security into this device. So they claim it's one of the most secure Android devices on the planet. Um, they've got DTEC, which is kind of a software security suite that they've uh, they've put in there. Um, Lookout is in there by default. I don't really use Lookout very much. They've got a password keeper, which is really cool to see from an OEM, an Android OEM. They've built in a password keeper, which is cool. Um, but with Insight, and of course, Star Wars. I mean, who doesn't love Star Wars? Um, but the, the phone is really secure. Um, they've, they've gone through a lot of different things. And, and even in the setup process, they go through tips and steps to help secure your phone. They say, hey, here's make your device more secure. Um, and they claim the security of this device is really, really good. And they've been trying to push out the security updates as well. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so far, they've been pretty decent about it. So one thing I'm really, really excited about that they brought over from BlackBerry software is BlackBerry Hub. And what BlackBerry Hub is, it's an app that they have brought over that puts all of your stuff in one place. All of your emails, your text messages, phone logs, they've even put Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, all that stuff. They've built it right into BlackBerry Hub. Um, so you can just swipe over there and you've got all your, your all your different accounts. It's ridiculous how many accounts you can add in there. Uh, I got my email set up right here. Um, but it's it's really, really cool. I've been using it a lot. I really, really love it. Um, another cool thing about the hardware keyboard is you can just swipe your finger across the hardware keyboard and it scrolls. Um, you can do the same thing in apps. So like if I go here to uh, Android Central, let's take a look at that. So you get Android Central and you load it up. Like you can scroll right here like just using the keyboard like that's really really cool I don't know what kind of magic and all that kind of stuff they've been able to do for it but to be able to make it do that but it's really really cool I really like that feature um, so again the speaker has been, sounded pretty loud for me I'm pretty press, impressed with the speaker so far uh, call quality is pretty good I've had this phone for a couple of days not too long so those are the quick things I've noticed um, but overall, really, really love this, loving this device so far. I'm going to get really into it, kind of give you guys an overview, a rundown of the software, um, hardware. You guys know how I do it. Um, so I'll get you all that kind of good stuff. I'll get you as much information as I can about the BlackBerry Priv. Um, I'm going to start looking at it, start reviewing it, um, start really diving into it and seeing, hey, how does this phone work for me on a day-to-day -day basis? Do I like it? I'm going to get some camera pictures, some camera samples up there going for you. Um, so stay tuned. All that stuff is coming. But that is a very, very initial look at the BlackBerry Priv. Um, one thing I can't really show you, but it's kind of cool. So when you get a notification and the phone is just sitting there and a notification comes in, the phone will actually light up black and white. Um, just to give you an overview of your uh, your notifications. And that just looks really cool. It, you know, it's just kind of my thing. Um, the other cool thing, double tap to wake. Uh, don't see that on a lot of manufacturers. We're starting to see it more and more. Uh, but that's a really cool feature that I like, just being able to double tap to wake, especially, you know, when sitting on the counter and I get an email and I just want to look over, I can just double tap. Oh, hey, look, I got that email. Don't worry about it. You can go away. Boom. All right, so again, that is the black, a very, very initial quick look at the BlackBerry Priv. Uh, is the first Android phone from BlackBerry. Um, BlackBerry has, s depending on who you talk to, they've stated that they are for sure coming out with more Android devices. Um, they are coming out with more Android devices, um, but depends on when and, and all that kind of stuff. They've said maybe this year, um, but something to keep in the lookout. So, the f so far, uh, I really, really, really like the Priv. It's an amazing device. So stay tuned, guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit me up if there's anything particular you want to go over. Um, I'll get into that in the software update and in kind of a, you know, I'll give you about a week, hopefully a week and a half, maybe even two weeks of a rundown on using the BlackBerry Priv. Initial impressions, love the device, really, really excited to keep using it. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next video.